Hey guys, welcome back to InventBox, where the solution is right around the corner. Kevin here, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to create a bone skeleton in Blender. So we're going to be using bones and rigging them up. So let's get started. So this is what we're going to be building today, and we're going to animate it to do some pretty cool stuff. Just like this. And it's actually really simple to do. So let's sh I'll show you how to do it. What we're going to do now is open up a new file in Blender. Delete the cube. And do Shift A for create. And then go down to Armature, Single Bone. Now here's your very first bone that Blender just created. So if you want to really do anything with the bones, you go into Edit Mode by hitting Tab or coming down here and selecting edit mode and then to have this bone actually let's make this bone a little bigger yeah I like that because it's gonna be our kind of our pelvis because your pelvis is basically the main parent bone in the whole skeleton but if you want to create another bone off of this say for the arms what you're going to want to do is go into edit mode and select one of the dots. Then you click E for extrude, and it will actually extrude another bone out of the circle. So now we're going to click, um, actually let's go on Y axis. Let's get it to a good spot and then get this one to a good spot. So then we're basically just making the arms here by hitting E and then Y to extrude it along the correct axis. So then those can be your arms coming off and now you can create like a head by making this go up along the Z axis about the size of the head but we probably want a neck bone and then the head bone. So just like that and then down here you can do E Y and bring out the legs now if you want to make sure that these are exactly the same one thing you can do is do E Y and then you could do like five and then it'll extend it out five blender units so if we do one let's do two so enter that and then select this again do e and then y-axis and you're going to do negative two so down oops down here in this corner it's telling you your coordinates so if I do that and then I do minus negative oops, sorry, 2 it'll extend it the other way so now we can do the same thing there, select that we're going along the z-axis probably could do 3 but we want to make sure we do negative 3 Let's, yeah 3 is good and do that to the other one. E Z three. And then don't forget the negative. Just like that. <clears throat> now do the same thing on these bones because those are your knees. Just like that. So there's your basic skeleton with some pretty simple things if you wanted. You could just go here to the hands <clears throat> and maybe just add fingers. Like that. <clears throat> Go over to the other one and do the same thing. Oops. Cool. 
So there's its hands. And now let's try animating with skeleton. So whenever you have bones in place, there's a whole nother mode called pose mode. So if we go to pose mode and you select a bone and say we rotate it, it moves everything above that. Like how it would norm normally move if it was in the body and you just move that one joint. So, and it depends on what it'll move depending on what's the main parent. <clears throat> and right now the pelvis right here is the main parent because this is the bone that really everything comes off of. So, now that we have that, let's get some animation. So we can, to animate, just select this. Our end frame is quite large. Let's just change that to 45. I mean, get it in the ballpark. So go to frame one and move this to where you want it. And actually, you want the frame one to be exactly in the same place it is right now. Then we're going to skip forward five frames, or let's go ten frames. But make sure recording is on, that little red button. So now let's go 10 frames, 20 frames actually, and move the hand down. 10 more frames, and move the hand back up. 10 more frames, we'll move it all the way up. And 10 more, and move it all the way back down. Nice. So now we'll make the end 80 frames. And let's play it. Cool. So now you have the hand moving. And that looks good. So now if you wanted, you could take this and move this bone. could make this guy move side to side. Just like this. Oops. And then play that. So now you'll have that movement. And if you wanted, you could even have the fingers moving. You could have this one go here, and then in a few frames go down a little bit. A few more frames, down a little more. A few more frames start coming back up. Back up to normal right there. So now that finger is actually moving. It's kind of hard to see but it is. And then I want it to move as the hand is coming back up. So around here, we're going to have it start moving up the hand. It's pretty flexible, but that's okay. So now, let's unpause that. And now you can see that finger is moving along with the bones. So now you could add like a... Oh, don't want to disconnect that. <laughs> I did not mean to animate that. Now you can add like a um, jumping jack pattern. You really can just play along with this for however long you want. And really just make it do whatever you want it to do. So, let's animate this other leg. Come out, and then in 20 other frames, come straight back down. And bring it down. So if we play it, now it's doing that. We could 
even if we wanted to get the head. Now, while the animation is going and the record button is on, you can move the head and it'll animate it in real time. So if I go like this, now it's animated and I didn't have to set each individual keyframe. There's like a gazillion keyframes in there. I don't like doing that. It's just messy and I think it's a lot more simple to just set the individual keyframes. Just like this. And it's not too hard. It doesn't take much time to do it either. Let's look at that. Now we got the head moving and all these legs moving and everything. And we could even have. Oops. There, we'll set the keyframe, move it forward just a little bit, and then have this bend down. Bend down. And then just do something like that. And we'll try to do the same thing to the other leg. Just try to make it look similar to the other one. Just like that. Now, if we play it, now those legs are moving whenever they jump like that, and that's just how you get the skeleton animated. And in the next video, I'll be showing you how to actually add a mesh around the skeleton if you have like a character. You'll put the skeleton in the character, and it'll actually move the mesh along with the bones. So I'll show you how to connect the bones to the mesh in the next tutorial. So I hope this video was useful, and if it was, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Talk to you then.